It's amazing that there's this relatively stable shoreline history here, which is very, very unusual. It's sort of one of a kind of fact in which the shoreline dating to immediate post-glacial times and for the next 15,000 years is all more or less available to be looked at. This means that for the same amount of time, people have been able to access and re-access the same beaches and establish their communities in the same locations that their ancestors had. The result is these very thick, layer cake-like archaeological sites. So here, that's what we were doing, basically, going back, looking at the intertidal area, see if we can find an old terrestrial surface that is now one or two or three meters lower than modern. And you can see it's the heel of a foot here, the toes at this point here, and the arch in this spot here. So if this is somebody's left footprint. It's really, really exciting to be able to put more of a, of a, of a human story. I mean, archaeology is a lot about rocks and bits of charcoal and maybe some animal bones and that. But when you can actually see where people have been walking around and sort of look at these footprints and start to see uh, potentially the gait of somebody. You have a, a left foot here and a right foot here. Just to think that this is where people were walking around. It's not, not that it's new to us, but it's new to us in terms of um, you know, really focusing in and seeing the people part of the picture, the cultural side, the, I don't know, the action part, which is something we just don't get to see from this early time. <laughs>